how to install Pluto Sphere so you can play PC VR games without a PC in the cloud. First of all, I'd like to say this isn't going to work for everyone. It does depend on your internet speeds, your router, and quite a few other factors that could really affect your experience. However, it is worth a try, especially if you can't afford a rig. First of all, you want to go to Plutosphere's website, which is in the link in the description down below. Once you're there, you can see the requirements, which is 50 megabytes per second internet speeds, and that's download. And it recommends a 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi 6 connection, and obviously a Quest or a Quest 2. Then you want to just click the sign up button, which is plastered all over the website. Once you click the sign up link, you're going to be taken to a page that um, is not as nice a looking as the other page. With uh, register or login. You've got to remember this is an early access thing, so bear that in mind. To register, you have to type your username in, you need to do a password, re-enter your password, give an email address and your name. You need to remember your password and your username once you've done all this, because obviously, for one, you need to get, able to get access to it, but you're also going to need to do it when you've got your headset on as well. Then once you're registered and signed in, you'll be presented with this page and it says about getting tokens. This is also where you can start your machine and it's actually easier than using the Quest 2 to start your machine because it takes roughly, uh, first time round for me was about 10 minutes and you don't want to have your VR headset on for that long while you're waiting for it to actually connect to a server. However, to get tokens, you need to click get tokens. Then it'll take you to another page where it says purchase tokens and you need to click purchase. You've then got to enter the username that you've just created. Then you want to select the tokens that you want to go with. I went with 3000 tokens. 600 tokens gives you an hour of play. I wouldn't go any higher than the 3000 tokens. You need to make sure it works properly. You'll probably be able to get the 1800 tokens and be able to figure out whether it's good for you or not. But you do need to remember currently they don't charge you for the first 15 minutes of connecting which gives you enough time hopefully to set it up and then download the game that you need to play because you'll have to do that every time you play at the moment which they are hoping to fix at some point because it is quite annoying that you have to download the game every time you go in once you've decided on the token that you want you need to click buy now now you have quite a few different payment methods but i went with paypal it's the one that i always go with it personally for me i think it's one of the most safest ways to do it then once the payment has been processed you are brought back to this page and you need to click confirm and then it'll say the payment has been completed thank you for your purchase and you can click back to pluto then you should see in the top right hand corner that your tokens have been added if this hasn't happened i would log out and then log back in so once you've got your tokens you can start your machine what i would advise doing if you haven't already done it or you don't have SideQuest, you need to download SideQuest onto your current machine or onto your phone. This allows you to add the Plutosphere app to your Quest 2. If you already have SideQuest, what you now want to do is click the Get It On SideQuest and that will then take you to the browser. Or alternatively, you just go to your SideQuest app and search for Plutosphere and then click the Download App. Now this is where I ran into a few problems. If you have two accounts on your Quest, for some reason it installs onto the second account. Now if you only have one developer account, it's not going to show up. I kept on clicking the download button and it said it had installed. However, when I went to my Quest, it wasn't showing up whatsoever. And this is the reason, because I had two accounts. Now what the options that I spoke to SideQuest about was you had two options one you had to delete the other account for now or to create the second account to be a developer account as well and that would make it show up i went with the first option and just deleted the other account for the time being and then re-added it once it had been uploaded and it was fine so once it's installed on your machine what you need to do is go to apps and then unknown sources and then click on plutosphere now for me what it did was you would get a spin in loading and then it would take you out of the app and into the browser where you then have to log in 
with the details that you've created. That will then register your device with Plutosphere. However, once I'd done that, I then relaunched the app again and it did it again where it took me to the browser and it was actually asking me to verify the account which it hadn't done before which is a bit of a shame because you'd have expected that when you create the account so it wants you to verify the account with a mobile number so you need to type your mobile number in and then wait for the text message to come through onto your phone and then type that code into it once you've done that and it's verified you then need to click start again now I found it kept on crashing when I was trying to do this. So what I actually did was took my headset off, logged in on my computer, started it, and then obviously you have to wait for it to connect, which is why it kept on crashing. So once you started it, it does say it takes 15 minutes. Now it took me about 10 minutes to get in. So once it's connected, if you put your headset back on, you're going to go into Steam and it's going to have no games. The best way I found to do this was to do this on your desktop because you have to log in to Steam. To actually see your instance that you're running, you need to click on the little monitor icon, monitor? monitor icon, which is next to start and that will show up your desktop on your desktop. <laughs> then you click on Steam and you log in. Now, if you have passwords and you've got capitals in them, and this is where I found another issue. Uh, if you press caps lock, it doesn't register it. So you have to actually press shift or press and hold shift, which I think most people do anyway, but I, I don't know. I tend to use caps lock when I'm, I don't know. Just, just how I work, okay? Once I did log in, things went a little bit funny and it went into some sort of big desktop mode, but it wasn't Steam's big desktop. It looked like Plutosphere's big desktop, which why I, is why I stopped the instance and started it again then once you're actually back in and you can start up steam and it's remembered everything you then click your library and download the game which sounds a bit odd because you're in the cloud but you're having to download stuff uh, don't get me started on that it is in bear come on and once you've done that you can put your headset back on you can then go back to your plutosphere app and it should show up the game that you've downloaded you then just want to click on that game and you're in you're sorted you can play games if you want to know my honest opinion on plutosphere and how it works for me click on this video just here i mean it's not for everyone i have been doing cloud gaming for well since stadia launched i've had really good experiences and some bad experiences but watch the video find out